Number one sister, dust for Prince. I found Prince! No, 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 fingerprints. I don't think so. Just because a movie came out half a century ago and was made for kids doesn't mean the adults who created the movie didn't sneak in some truly shocking sex moments for their own amusement. If you look hard enough, it almost seems like every kid's movie has some sort of hidden filth in it. Uh, it's sort of disturbing. <laughs> Like, for example, did you know there was a poster of a completely, actually topless woman in the 1977 The Rescuers movie about a bunch of heroic mice who save people and apparently get flashed mid-mission, I guess? About 38 minutes into the movie, the mice are flying on the back of an albatross through a city, and in the background in one of the windows, there's an image of a completely boobs-out woman. Though this was present in the theatrical release, nobody really noticed until the VHS release 20 years later, and Disney was forced to recall every copy of the movie so they could edit out the legitimately pretty offensive image, claiming that it was not placed in the film by any of their animators, but was instead inserted somewhere during the post-production process. The company decided to recall 3.4 million copies of the video to, quote, keep our promise to families that we can trust and rely on the Disney brand to provide the finest in family entertainment. But you know what filthy joke Disney did decide to leave in? A sight gag about anal beads. See, in the 1950s Cinderella movie, two of her mouse friends try to retrieve a bead necklace from the evil cat, but of course they screw up and the necklace breaks and beads fly everywhere. So to make sure they get them all, one of the mice begins threading them onto the other mouse's tail, which, as we all know, is connected to the butthole. Kinda looks like they're engaging in some anal bead play, and before you say, hey, people in the 1950s didn't know about anal beads, my grandma's a saint. Remember that people have been sticking objects up their poopers for hundreds if not thousands of years. Ask your grandma about it. Oh, and speaking of shoving stuff up your butt, remember in Ratatouille when Skinner warns Alfredo to not get too familiar with the vegetables? Yeah, they're not talking about how lame and nerdy Alfredo will be if he knows the exact genus of cucumbers' origins. They're talking about how fired Alfredo will be if he starts shoving cucumbers up into his anus. Or, you know, other parts of himself into other squishier vegetables, which makes sense. Nobody wants that. This is also the movie where Alfredo seemingly almost admits that he has a tiny penis. He's actually referring to the tiny rat that lives in his hat, but it sure sounds like he's talking about the tiny rat that lives in his uh, pants. I have this, this tiny, uh, little, little... But hey, those aren't the only dick jokes in kids' movies. Oh no, not by a long or short shot. For example, did you notice in the Rugrats movie when one of the babies mentions... Man, they cut my cord. Oh, consider yourself lucky. Cause hooray, a circumcision joke. Kids love jokes about removed foreskin, am I right? On a less intense schlong note, did you notice the newspaper in Harry Potter and the Order of the Phoenix that Harry's reading? You see how the front page headline talks about somebody's balls were judged for being too big? Were they Harry Potter's balls? You'll probably have to read some fan fiction to find the answer to that one. Oh, and speaking of balls, did you notice the sperm statue in Osmosis Jones? Apparently that's in honor of their founder, you know, because you need sperm to create a human, so there's a big old sperm statue there, and if somebody tore it down, that'd be erasing an important part of Bill Murray's history. That's his dad's sperm. We should probably, we should stop here.